Hey there, how's it going? Well, Megan Tanja's made a video entitled Hashtag Not My YouTube, and she's asking people to state their views and opinions about YouTube. So I thought I'd chime in. So, number one, how do you find out about new videos? Usually for me, it's when people I'm subscribed to will talk about other people's channels. Occasionally, I'll find something via recommended videos on the side, although lately I've been disabling that using a uh, an extension for Chrome that will stop that, because sometimes I don't want to see this stuff, because for the longest time, videos that I would see in recommended on a constant basis were people making fun of those who have been very hurt and are very scared people who have been emotionally destroyed, people who are in tears, even people who are talking about others who have killed themselves, people essentially pointing and laughing at those people, people who somehow think that misery is hilarious, somehow, because they think that there's no threat, because, well, they're of a demographic that won't be affected at all. So I disabled it because I was tired of seeing links to it. Even when I would go through and try to block the channels that those were on, I would still get recommendations of that, which used to not happen. Usually, uh, you used to be able to block a channel and you wouldn't see it in the recommended, but now you do, so there's not really much you can do about it. So, on a very, 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 very rare occasion, I'll use the trending tab if I'm really bored but I usually don't use that. So, number two, what's a feature of the site that you miss? Well, I miss the all activity tab. I don't really like the trending tab. I think the trending tab is stupid. All activity was one of the best options on YouTube and they took it away earlier this year. The all activity tab let you see what the people you're subscribed to are liking, subscribing to, commenting on, just interacting with. It was really cool, but then they took it away with the excuse that, well, you know, we wanted to clean uh, screen real estate. Um, a tab is taking up screen real estate, a tab that you replaced with, with uh, trending. Uh, I don't think so. They did this because, well, Google wanted to make more money. And if they guide people to channels that are making them more money, well, then they'll make more money. The All Activity tab led people a lot of times to channels that are brand new, and they couldn't have that. So um, other things were getting rid of video responses. That was a very good option, and that was way back though, way, way back. People used to be able to make video responses, and underneath any video that you're watching, there'd be this area for video responses. It was a really neat way to find new content it was a neat way to keep in contact with the people that are making videos. It was a really neat option and they took that away. So, you know, that and uh, all activity. Yeah, I miss those a lot, a lot. Oh yeah, and I miss how when you used to block someone, they couldn't subscribe to your channel and they couldn't reply to other people's comments. But the way it is now, it just blocks you from seeing their comments and will block others from seeing initial comments, originating posts, but it doesn't stop them from leaving replies to other people's comments on your videos. So yeah, that was kind of weird. There used to be more options when they had Google Plus and YouTube completely combined, but once they partially separated those things, uh, those options went out the window. So that's kind of weird. I imagine they'll fix that once they finish the separation of Google Plus and YouTube, because you know that's coming. Number three, what's your least favorite trend on YouTube? I would say the rise of the alt-right and the rise of the anti-SJWs that have gone to such extremes where anything that's idealistic in any way gets labeled as SJWisms, and people will be made fun of for actually giving a shit. 
that I find very, 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 very annoying and sad and depressing. Because, well, it's like YouTube has been taken over by a, a bunch of bullies on a playground. There's, there's no care at all about trying to figure out what people are really saying. They're just upset that someone is saying something idealistic. I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't quite understand it. And it's not everyone. It's not everyone, but it is definitely a trend. And it's something that people make a lot of money on. And uh, I'm not going to say that the only reason why people say this stuff is to make money. There are people who have made that kind of claim. I'm not going to make that claim. But there certainly are a number of people who have jumped on that bandwagon. And there are a number of people who ha have jumped on the bandwagon of making ponage videos as a means of making money. And I think that's really shitty. I think that's a terrible trend. Number four, what's the most drastic thing you've done to get views or subs? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure the answer to that. I know there have been things I've done to keep from getting bullied. Last year, I said some things that, I mean, they were valid viewpoints, they were rational and logical viewpoints, but they were not what I really felt in my heart. But I was scared to say what was really in my heart because I thought I would get bullied. But really, that goes more into the next question, which is number five, do you have any regrets on YouTube? Personal strategy, that sort of thing. And yeah, that's the area that I... I have regrets. I regret that I wasn't willing to stand for my beliefs out of fear. I regret that a lot. I regret that more than anything I've done on this platform. I regret that more than anything I've done in general in the past several years. I regret that. I can't allow the fear of being bullied to stop me from saying what I believe in. Number six, how has your channel changed since a year ago? Well, the things I just mentioned in the last two questions. Number seven, what do you do to support your favorite creators? Well, I'll try to give shout outs. I'll speak positively about creators on my videos. Um, on a rare occasion, I will try to donate a little bit. I don't have very much money to donate myself, but, you know, a dollar or two or something. Number eight, how do you define success? Well, on this platform, I would define success by the idea that I might get people to think. I think I've been pretty successful in that area. I mean, if my, if, if my main motive was to make money, then no, I've failed miserably. But uh, my motive is to try to get people to think. Also, this is a platform where I vent. This is a platform where I can let out my emotions. So in those regards, I think I've been very successful. And that's how I measure success for myself on this platform. Number nine, number nine, are you happy? I try to be. I hope I'm happy. I think I'm happy. Sometimes I've been very depressed, but I think for the most part I've been happy. And I try to share that when I am. It's usually when I'll make my silly videos, but there are times when I'm happy where I don't make those. I just, you know, I hope I'm happy. Now, if the question is, am I happy with YouTube? The answer would be no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not happy with YouTube. I'm not happy with how it's changed. I'm not happy with how the culture has changed. I'm not happy at all with that. But am I happy in general? Am I happy with myself? Am I happy with the content I'm making? Am I happy with the interactions I've had with people? Yes. Number 10. Why do you do YouTube and how long do you think you'll keep doing it? Well, I do YouTube to vent, to get out my emotions. I do it for, as a form of therapy, but I also do YouTube to try to get people to think, as I said earlier. I do YouTube to try to learn new things. Hopefully I'll learn something, especially out of the interactions I have with others. 
How long do I think I'll keep doing it? Well, that depends on whether or not it continues to be a positive thing for me. It definitely is a negative thing for me at times. Sometimes it's made my life miserable. Usually, though, it's enriched my life. So if it stops enriching my life, I won't do it anymore. That's just pure and simple. I'm, I'm not going, I, I'm not some sort of masochist in that way. So, and number 11, has YouTube made your life better or worse? Well, I already just sort of answered that in the previous question. Um, in many areas, it's made my life better. Occasionally, it's made my life worse. So the answer is both. Um, hopefully, it will continue to be something positive in my life. But we never know what's going to happen. Some people I would like to tag in this video are Robert Wallace, Agent of Doubt, and Liz Reptile. Thanks for watching.